could, I could get some more volume that way. Right here. Oh, we ain't get the front. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. All right. So, hallelujah. How's everybody doing? All right. Everybody stand up. We're going to give the most high thanks. And you know why we're going to give him thanks? We alive. We got air to our lungs. We still moving. Anybody feeling sick will be healed. Hallelujah. We have to give thanks to the Most High for life. The most important and precious thing that he has given us on today. So on the count of three at the sound of the shofar, we're going to praise the Most High in whatever way, form, or shape, or language you know. Give him the highest hallelujah you can give him at the sound of the shofar. You all ready? One. Oh, everybody got their shofar now. Hallelujah. Everybody take a deep breath in. If you have nothing else in the world to be thankful for, be thankful the day that you're breathing. Be thankful the day that you're breathing. Hallelujah. So on the count of three, blow your shofars and lift up your voice, not to me, but to the Most High, the creator of the heavens and earth. One, two, three. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Keep blowing. Hallelujah. 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 It's a blessing and a privilege to be here. Hallelujah. Amongst Mispakah, amongst the set apart bots and sons of the Most High. It's a privilege to even not only have the Most High knowing who we are, but having him lead and direct us. He said in his word that he will lead us and guide us with his own eye. That's our privilege of being set apart. That's our privilege of being righteous and holy. Hallelujah, Kodesh. So we're here for Feast of Tabernacle, this last feast, but this is the feast that commemorates our forefathers and foremothers going through the wilderness and the Most High being with them. So not only are we rehearsing this, we're rejoicing that the Most High is with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to ask everybody to stand up again. And one thing that I do is I have the mindset that nobody can out-worship or praise me. Hallelujah. That's what the mindset we should all have. Nobody can praise the Most High. Nobody can worship him better than you can because you know your story. You know what he's took you through, brought you through, and what he's going through with you. Hallelujah. So we're, we're matriculating higher and higher in the most high. So we want to give him the praise. Hallelujah. So let's do it together. Hallelujah. 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 Abba Yahuwah. We come before you this day thanking you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, Abba Yahuwah. We count it a privilege for us to be your children. We count it a privilege to be set apart. We praise you, Abba Yahuwah, and we ask you not only to meet us here, be glorified with the worship and the praise. Have us, Abba Yahuwah, to unapologetically and unashamedly to worship you and praise you for all you are to us. Everything you've done for us, and everything you're going to do. We lift up our minds, our ruachs, and our hearts to you, Abba Yahuwah. We say, have your way, hallelujah. Have your way, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And be pleased with everything that we do and say. In Yahushua's name, we say, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, isn't it? and awesome to be here in the presence of the Most High on this morning, on this bouquet. 
we were all talking beforehand and we feel the fire and the presence of the Most High already in, in this place here. So what we have to do as his people is we have to enter in to what he has already laid out and what is already here in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. So today I would like everyone to have your mind and your hearts set on a visitation, a time of meeting with the Most High. Okay, hallelujah. It's wonderful that I see you and you see I, but if you come to an event like this and you miss the time of your visitation, then you, it is a tragic thing. Do not miss the time of your visitation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We just all finished coming from a place where we were asked to purge. We were asked to clean out. We were asked to uh, pour out everything that is inside of us. And the reason for that is when the presence of the Most High shows up, it's impossible for you to be unaffected by the presence of the Most High. When the Most High's presence shows up, what a thing is, is going to manifest, okay? In the presence of Yah, nothing is hidden. Nothing is secret. Nothing is not known or misidentified. So whatever it is that you are holding on to, I pray that it is Kodesh. And if it is not, then you can open up your arms and release it to receive what the Most High has for you on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go through these Moeds family, I want to encourage and admonish everybody that there's a pattern. There is a very clear, distinct pattern within the Moeds. Did y'all know that? One of the ways that you begin to understand somebody, like my Isha, we've gone to several events like this together. So if they ask me, hey, at her booth, what would she want at her booth? I can tell them exactly what she would want at her booth, right? We've spent time together. You have to spend time with him in his presence. And one of the ways that we learn his ways is these moeds. This is how he moves. He's doing something special at this time. He's doing something different, and you should expect a visitation. You should expect something different at this time right now. That's one of the reasons why we had to purge and we had to clean out. If everything is going to manifest. It's going to show up. From the very first one, even from the day that he says, count the first of a bees. He says when the first green ear comes out, that's when you begin to count. And when you look from the first of Abib or the first of the year through these what we call Mikra rehearsals, you see his pattern. You see his hand and that's when you begin to learn his ways. That's when you begin to learn the ways of the Most High is when you understand his pattern, family. So I want to encourage everybody as we partake, as we enter into times like this, the times of the Moed, it is fellowship, it is family, it is mishpaka, it is food, it is fun, but it is your time of visitation. It is a time of visitation. Expect a visitation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. With that, I'll yield. Yeah. Hallelujah. As the music plays, uh, Allow the atmosphere to permeate your Ruach. Allow the presence of the Most High to saturate your mind. As I said before, he's already here in this place. He's already here in this place. You just have to enter in. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. I'll be here to, uh, to blow the shofar as well as I'm reading Numbers of the Midbar, chapter 29, verses 12 through 16. And it reads, And on the 15th day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy assembly, which is what we're doing at this very moment. You shall do no servile work. You shall keep a feast unto Yahuwah seven days. And you shall offer up an ascending smoke offering and a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Thirteen bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year. They shall be without blemish. And then their oblation shall be a flower mingled with oil. 
three tenths dealt unto every bullock of the thirteenth bullock. Two tenths dealt to each ram of the two rams. And a several tenth dealt to each lamb of the fourteen lambs. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering. Beside the continued ascending smoke offering, his oblation and his drink offering. If we have uh, anyone in here that has a shofar, can you grab it at this moment? All right, we will now blow the shofar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all can be seated. Now we're going to call on one of our very own who took her time. Well, y'all know I spot. Everybody get nervous now. <laughs> we're going to call on Ima Alice. Ima Alice is going to come sing her. We should know it by now. Everybody say This is a Sabbath day, a set apart or Kodesh day. Y'all told his people, keep it Kodesh, hold the Kodesh convocation. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate and rest, for this is Shabbat. Let everybody say Shabbat Shalom. This is Shabbat. Let everybody say Shabbat Shalom. This is Shabbat. Let everybody say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.
Hallelujah, Yasharel. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. As we prepare to enter into Yahuwah's presence, let us set our attention and focus on Him. Hallelujah. As we enter into His throne. Abba, please accept our worship. Hallelujah. We reverence you in this place. Hallelujah. I'm going to say, if you grab it, grab it. Kodesh, 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 Yahuwah, El Shaddai. coming come on sing with me
And who is coming? Who is coming? Hallelujah! Kodesh! 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 Be something I'm gonna read something from Revelation Revelation chapter 4 verse 9 and when those living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him that sits on the throne who lives forever and ever the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying you are worthy, O oh Yahuwah Eloheinu, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. How many know that we were created for Yahuwah's pleasure? Hallelujah. 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 So we're going to sing it one more time. We're going to join with the angels. With the 24 elders, we say it's golden. 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 Who was? And who is? And who is coming? Hallelujah. One more time. We Belongs to you, yeah. Who was and who is and who is coming? Turn that around, be flat. You are worthy. Oh, you who were Elohim. To receive glory. And honor and power. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Oh, Yahoo. Eloheinu. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Oh, Yahoo. Yeah, that's it. Eloheinu. Come on, help me sing. You are worthy. You, you are, are worthy. Oh, Yahuwah. Oh, Yahuwah. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are worthy. You, you are, are worthy. Oh, Yahuwah.
Come on, one more time. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, Yahuwah. Oh, Yahuwah. Eloheinu. We're going to sing that one more time. You got one more time. Make it count. You are worthy. You are worthy. Let's not get caught up in emotion. Let's worship Yahuwah and Ruach and in truth. Hallelujah. Oh, great Yahuwah. You're a mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. You're a mighty deliverer. My hope in you, all faith in you, yeah. You're a mighty Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. All esteem to Abba Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How do y'all feel, Mishpachai? Y'all feel Yahuwah in this place? Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We could stay right there for, hallelujah. Thank you for your Moedim. Your appointed time where you meet us. You meet us where we are. Oh, great Yahuwah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hallelujah. One more time, shout hallelujah. Let's give Yahuwah a great praise. Hallelujah. Four. One. Five. If you have an instrument, I want to hear it. Come on, if you got some percussion, some tambourines, some shofars. Yahuwah, you. I trust if you dance in you, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah who are you, yeah, who are you, I trust, I trust in you, in you, say I believe, I believe, I believe you, you. I trust, I trust in you, in One. you, Two. oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah who are you, yeah, who are you, I trust.
are you. I trust in you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who are you? I trust. I trust in you. In you. I believe. I believe. Shout. I believe. I believe you. I trust. I trust in you. In you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, who are you? Come on. I trust. I trust in you. Here we go. I believe. I believe. You I are the Yah of miracles. You are a Yah of miracles. Hallelujah. You are the Yah of miracles. You are a Yah of wonder. You are a Yah of
Oh, tap yourself. Say, I believe. 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 So long. Bye-bye. Hey. So long. Bye-bye. Hey. So long. Hey. So long. So long. Bye bye. Everything has a time. Bye bye. Tried to throw it at you. Bye bye. Take it and wave it. Bye bye. Bye bye. It don't belong to you. Bye bye. Hey, hey so long. Bye bye. Goodbye, senior. Bye bye. Hey, hey so long. Bye bye. Hey, uh, so long. Bye bye. Hey, so long. Bye bye. Goodbye, confusion. Bye bye. Goodbye, confusion. Bye bye. Goodbye, confusion. Bye bye. Hey, hey, so long. Bye bye. Hey, so long. Bye bye. So long. Bye bye. Let's take it out. You are the yaw of miracles. You are a yaw of miracles. You are the yaw of wonder. You are a yaw of wonder. You are a yaw of power. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. What you saying bye to? What you saying bye to? Trauma. Rejection. Heartache. Sickness. Financial law. Hallelujah. Keep going. Now we gonna introduce somebody who's who brought his music to us and just went off. I probably introducing that wrong. But you all know him from the song The Waymaker. I ain't never going back. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Louisiana, we're going to call on Mrs. Zamar Yasharel. Zamar Yasharel. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. All the steams of Ab Yahua who keeps covenant with Yasharel. Listen, look at, look at the person next to you. You are looking at a promise that has come to pass. You're looking at a promise that has come true. Because Ab Yahuwah is the only one, the only one who actually does what he says. You can count on your fingers and toes how many people have lied to you. But Ab Yahuwah has always kept his promises. The mere fact that you have been awakened in this time is a promise that has been kept by Ab Yahuwah. So I'm going to sing a song real quick and I'll get out of the way. It's called Promises. Y'all know it? All right, if you know it, please sing it with me. Hallelujah. Here we go. Hallelujah. A little bit more volume on the mic. Yeah. Here we go. Wait. Who for Good. Yeah. 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 Y
Maybe we were just there for a long time. For she could have fallen. For she could have fallen. For she could have fallen. Maybe we were just there for a long time. For she could have fallen. Hallelujah. We're going to say it in English. Say you fulfill your promises. Yahuwah. You fulfill your promises. Yahuwah. Now you say. Help me say it. Say you, you fulfill. Say Yahoo. You yeah. say you. Y'all sound beautiful. Say Yahoo. Say you keep up, you keep up. Yeah, you keep up. Everything he said come to pass. Huh? Say you keep promising. Yeah, come on. And say you open doors. Yeah. Say yes, you open doors. Say yes, you open doors. Yes, you open doors. Say yes, you made a way. Ah. Say yes, you made a way. Ah. Yes, you made a way. Yes, you made a way. Ah. There's nobody greater. Ah. Ah. Say there's nobody greater. Ah. Say there's nobody greater. Ah. There's nobody greater. Ah. You're a big, big yacht. Yeah. Say you're a big, big yacht. Yeah. 
There's somebody bigger than you, yeah. yeah. Say you're a big, big, yeah. Oh, you, you fulfill your promises. Say, Yahoo, you, you. Say you to feel Bless the only wise, Allahim, promise keeper of the universe, the Malekullah, the lover of the children of Yasharel, the mighty one who secures us. And because we know that he keeps his promises, we can trust him. Because he cannot lie, he does not change, we can trust him. Come on, let's lift up an atmosphere. Say, Abba, I trust you. Say, Abba, I depend on you. Hallelujah. We are nothing but dirt and dust. And he finds favor in us. And keeps his promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all keep me in your prayers. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. 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 He keeps his promises. He keeps his promises. He is faithful. He is mindful of us. He is mindful of you. He keeps his promises. All you got to do is know the promises. All you have to do is know the promises. He's mindful of you. As the warfare went forward, because the ministry of music is warfare. Ushering in 
the Ruach Elohim, the Ruach HaKodesh, our mighty destroyer, El Shaddai. As the warfare went forward, I had a moment over there. And it was simple words, and it started with my heart. Simple words, you're holy. You keep your promises. Sometimes we look for things to be so intricate, so deep, and it's the simple things. He's holy. He's set apart. Hallelujah! 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 And he keeps his promise. Hallelujah! 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 Abba Yahuwah, Hallelujah. you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our worship. You are worthy, O Abba Yahuwah. You are worthy, O Abba Yahuwah. You're mindful of us. You're mindful of this clay. You're mindful of these vessels. You're mindful, O Abba Yahuwah. I'm grateful. We are grateful. Abba Yahuwah, may you be pleased with our sacrifice. May you be pleased with our offering, O oh Abba Yah. Abba Yahuwah is strategic. He is a Yah that wastes nothing. He wastes nothing. All things are made by our Creator. Yahuwah Zabaot Eloheinu, our God. Every aspect of your being is on purpose. Every step that you've taken in the journey onto this point was for your good, even when it hurt. Hallelujah, Uah. Hallelujah, Uah. It's never my intention to get up here and snot and shed tears. But Yahuwah is worthy. Yahuwah is worthy. He's deserving. Everybody in here. Everybody in here, he's deserving of your praise and your worship. He's deserving of you humbling yourself and humiliating yourself. He's deserving. He is deserving. There is none like our Yahuwah. There is none like our Yah. There is none like our Creator. Abba Yahuwah, you are sovereign. Abba Yahuwah. We adore you and we magnify you. Hallelujah. 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 When you are in the presence of the creator of the universe, uh -huh. your best bet is to get low. Yeah. Your best bet is to get low as the sages, as the prophets of old. When they got in the front of the presence of the Most High Yah or his Malachim, they hit their face. Some of them, the Ruach left them and he had to bring them back. When you are in the presence when his holy presence has been ushered in, you should get low. 
Because there's a finichas somewhere. There's a finichas somewhere. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, those who don't reverence the creator of the universe, I have no sympathy for you. None. When he is in, when you are in his presence, panit before him, get low or be looking for a finihas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom, Ms. Paka. Shalom aleichem, Ms. Paka. All right, all right, I'm finna teach y'all something real quick. When anyone speaks onto you and they say, Shalom Aleichem, you say, Shalom Laka, and peace be unto you. I need peace. So I'm gonna say, Shalom Aleichem, and I need all of y'all to give me peace. Shalom Aleichem, Ms. Paka. Hallelujah. 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 Before we go forward, uh, it is always that which we do um, in reverence in the creator of the universe. We must acknowledge him and we must acknowledge his people. I must acknowledge you, Mishpaka. I must acknowledge you, Ima. I see you, Akoti. I see you, Zakain. I see you, Ak. I see you, Akoti. I see you, Maureen. I see you, Yaladin. I see you, Mama. I see you, Ak. It is an honor and a privilege to stand before the people of Yahuwah. And you must humble yourself with the understanding that the vessel never important. I see you, nephew. What's going on? Tim Scurry Jr. I see you. I see you. I see you. We must acknowledge one another. Ema has gifts that nobody else has, that the kingdom needs to move forward. Everybody in here was created with a purpose and a gift that only you have and I need it. So I see you. I see you, Ak. I see you, Ema. Mora. Somebody, one of them babies said, yeah. Pumping me up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I see you. Hallelujah. It's important that we see one another. Hallelujah. 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 Well, I greet you uh, in the native tongue of our forefathers again. Shalom Aleichem and Shabbat Shalom, Ms. Baka. Shalom Aka. Y'all quick learners, baby. And... <clears throat> All the way from uh, Galveston, Houston area of the state of Texas, uh, I bid peace on to you, uh, to Beit Shema Torah, for those who weren't able to come and those who are looking, if you are looking. We love you and we miss you. Um, for all of those from every assembly that is associated with GAI, we love you and we miss you. And may you be worshiping just as we are worshiping in this moment. With that said, uh, <clears throat> before we speak of the word of Yahuwah, we must acknowledge him, his people, and his word, and his word. So before I move forward, I want to bless Yahuwah for giving us his word. Baruch atah Yahuwah loheinu melech haolam asher kitzenu beimitzotai weitziu anu el divrei Torah. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us regarding the words of the Torah. Weharev na Yahuwah Eloheinu et divre Torateka befinu u befifiot ameka beit Yisrael. We nihye anaknu we ze e zaenu we ze e zae. Ze eza enu kulanu yo dei shameka. Welom dei torateka lish ma. Barukata yahua ha malame tora la amo Yisrael. And sweeten for us, Yahuwah, our God, the words of the Torah in our mouths, 
and in the mouths of your nation, Israel. And let us and our offspring and our offspring's offspring and the offspring of your nation, Israel, all know your name. Learn your Torah for the sake of Torah. Hmm. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, who teaches Torah to his nation, Yisrael. It is the Most High Yahuwah who teaches us the Torah. Baruch atah Yahuwah aloheinu melech haolam, asher bakar banu mikar ma'ayim winotein lanu et Torah to Baruch atah Yahuwah no thing, ha Torah, and this is my favorite part. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us his Torah. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, who gives the Torah. Hallelujah. 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 As I said earlier, the Most High Yah is strategic and he wastes nothing. And he ushered it in, and he was speaking to me, and I promise you all, I had a moment over there, and I'm still having a moment. But all praise unto the Most High Yah that he is the strengthener. He gives strength unto the weary. As the psalmist went forward, it reminded me of what the Most High Yah was giving me yesterday on what to give to you. And he told me that which I was telling you in a whole different light, and it hit me hard. It hit me hard because every time you see a person up here, if they're not holding themselves to a higher standard than they're holding you, something's wrong. Something is wrong. I need to be so tough on myself that you look at me and be like, I ain't trying to stand by that dude. He tripping. He want too much of people. If someone can hold themselves accountable, to a high standard, that's who you want to be around. That's who you want to glean from. That's where you want to sit at their feet. Hallelujah. He gave a simple word. So when you got on there and just said, he's holy, and this is all it's going to be, he's holy. I said, Abba, don't do it. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Even when you got up, it was... Man, he's in this place. He truly inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His people. His people. Hallelujah. His people. With that said, I won't keep you long. It's going to be basic for some. It's going to be some new information for others. But we are Mishpachah, and we all on the journey together. All right? All right. Uh, can we get that screen up, please? Oh, I have it. Excuse me. They gave me all the instructions, and I'm tripping. <clears throat> we good? It's up. If we can just go ahead and... That's fine. That's fine. You can just bear work with me and we'll get through this. All right. If you can see up on the screen, whenever uh, I try to do, uh, well, I'm not going to say I try to do it. It's my desire to do whatever the Most High Yah tells me to do. And even in that, he gives me things to set the stage. We just set the stage for worship. We just set the stage for learning. We just set the stage for being in his presence. So as you see up here, these are two scriptures that are going to set the stage or the theme of what it is the Most High Yah is saying to you. All right? And I'm going to read them. We don't, we don't uh, shy away from reading because we have to know the word of Yah. Hallelujah. And it reads, for your maker is your husband. Yahuwah Zabaoth is his name. And your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the Elohai of the whole earth, shall he be called. And that is Yeshayahu 54 and 5. 
Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will cut a renewed covenant with the house of Yisrael and with the house of Yahuda, not according to the covenant that I cut with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Mitzrayim, which my covenant they broke, although I was your husband, says Yahuwah. When we look at these two verses of scripture, the thing that I saw was husband, union, and we all know that the Most High Yah is Kodesh. So it's a holy union. It's a Kodesh union. But then I also saw covenant. And I saw that it said, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them. So that's implying that for you to be in a union, you got to have a what? A covenant. A covenant. And what is our covenant? Say it again. The Torah is our covenant. So whenever you think, and I know that you all are Ivrim, Hebrews, we think functional. We are functional people. Everything that we do is about function and operating in our purpose. And if you're not operating your purpose, you are dysfunctional, thus not told. So when we see these, the theme is a holy union, which has to have a covenant. Can you go to the next slide, please? Those of you who uh, are familiar with... Uh, Biblical Hebrew. Can I get somebody to help me to say what this word is? Ketubah. Ketubah. Whenever we think of a holy union, whenever we think of a husband and an isha, the first thing that should come to a Ivrim person or Ivri person for the Ivri language is Ketubah. What's their covenant? What's the stipulations of this union? Hallelujah. What's the stipulations of this union? Ketubah. And that is kaf, tau, wow, bait, hey, katuba. Okay, go ahead, do that thing. We ain't gonna use that. We ain't even gonna worry about that. Katuba. Go ahead. Next slide, please. All right. Y'all see that smoking hot fox? Smoking hot fox. Smoking hot. Wow. A ketubah. A ketubah. So let's, let's look at this, this working, functioning definition of ketubah. A unilateral contract or agreement historically should be spelled with two L's, viewed as a legally binding contract established to ensure the protection of who? Of who? The who? Who are you? The covenant is designed to do what? And who is the bride? We are the bride. Ensuring the protection of the bride, clearly declaring, clearly declaring the obligations of the husband to the bride. Next slide, please. Now, ketubah, ketubah, as the Ak got it real quick, he's a Hebrew scholar. Ketubah is derived from the tricontinental root kaf, tau, bet. And in most places, you see that as kitav. It's an Aramaic word, kitav. And it gives rise to the understanding of to record a record of something or to write, or to write. Next slide, please. Now, if we look further, we have what's called uh, the tricontinental root, and it is from a book that I utilize, but I'm not, uh, I'd never take anything at face value. It is called the Etymological uh, Book of Biblical Hebrew. And you see that same tricontinental root, and it says writing, recording, written document. But when we look at the cognitive meaning, 
It says, impact positively or negatively. How many of y'all know that if you are adhering to the covenant, positive. Impact is positive. Astronomically. Unconditionally. What's some more of those Dr. Howard words? Emphatically. Yes, all of those. And if it's negative, you're not keeping the covenant. You've fallen outside of the contract. That is very powerful. Next slide, please. So I want to just show you, whenever we study, you know, we have to try to utilize the tools that are given to us until we get to a place to where we can bypass them. And Strong's is a good tool until you can bypass it. Don't take it for face value, all right? So I wanted to just show you this so you can see this is uh, the root word again, and it says to write, record, enroll, to register, and it's all along the same lines of what you heard when we gave you the basic, fundamental, elementary definition. And in the Strong's definition, that was the outline of biblical Hebrew usage, where you will see it in the biblical text, to their understanding. Now, for the Strong's, it's almost around the same thing, to engrave, implication, to write, uh, prescribe, subscribe, describe, record, it's taking account of something. But when you have the understanding to go deeper into your culture, into your language, it gives rise to function. Next slide, please. So when we look at it with the understanding of the Ivri or the Ivrim eye, we know that kaf is the palm or the hand, right? We all know that. Kaf is the palm. Now, some of these may look different to some of you um, because it's not a pictograph or paleo, but I assure you that it has the same meaning. It has the same value. It makes the same sound. It has the same numeric value. If we want to go uh, deeper and study these things in the books that these people have written after they took our book, you're going to have to go to this. It's inevitable. You're going to have to go to this. All right? So we know that cough is the palm or the hand, but we are functional. What does the hand and the, and the palm do? It does work. It's the place where the potential that was in your mind comes to fruition. It's potential actualized. It's action. So we don't want to just think, okay, palm, I see the cough, it's palm. No. What work did it do? What power is it demonstrating? All right? So, the Tao, we know it is a sign, a mark, identifier, 400, covenant. But what is a covenant? What is a covenant? What's the function of the covenant? It is to bind, and it is the binding conditions or terms of a relationship. That's all a covenant is. It's the terms of a relationship. The terms of a relationship, and we know the bait is the tent, the house, the family, the nation. The, when someone says the house of Israel, we understand they're talking about the nation. If I say the house of Kanayahu ain't doing that, my house ain't doing whatever y'all doing. That's the house, you understand? So when we move forward and we put this together, now remember this is the root for ketubah. And we all know that the ketubah is the marriage covenant contract that which establishes and solidifies and qualifies your union. Forward, please. So, when we look at this through function, the ketubah literally is the power to actualize the binding conditions or terms of the relationship of the house. The ketubah is that which is being said is this is the structure of this house. I don't care about that house. I don't care about this house. But in this house, he said, we shall serve Yahuwah. This is what a ketubah is. Okay? I want you to understand this. So, why is this important in this season? Why is it important in this season? Why are we talking about a ketubah? And this is where the simplicity came in. We look at the season that we're in, and we understand that this is the season of Elul, for those who you don't know. It is the season where you are to expect a miracle. 
You are to expect a blessing. You are to expect deliverance. You are to expect your healing in this season. This is that season. So if you don't know nothing else, if you don't know what Sukkot means and break it down and say it in different languages, if you don't know what Pesach means and can break it down in Greek and Aramaic and all these things, the Most High Yah is simple. Torah is simple. We make it hard. So he wants to give you a simple word. Move forward, please. Now I want to make this connection. The ketubah, as we said, is that which binds us together. It's the terms. And we all know that the Torah is that which does that for us between us and him. So that is the holy union. So that means that the Most High Yah is not a respecter of persons. If he told us to do it, that means what? He had to do it. So the Torah had to be in the form of a ketubah. The first five books is our ketubah. He's telling us, listen, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. And all you got to do is this. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, hew you two sapphire stones like unto the first. Because you know he, the first one broke down when he seen that cat. Oh, look what y'all doing down there. He broke it and dropped it. Or he could have slammed them down. We don't know. And I will write... Somebody read that word for me. Okay, if you can. Way, ka ta. You got it? Way, ka ta vite, or ti. Way, ka ta ti. Way, ka ta ti. So, the wow there, it always is implying conjunction and, or, but. It is a connection. So it's literally saying and, and that is a prefix. When we get down here, we see these three letters and we know that that is the tricontinental root. So we know this is all a suffix. And it means will, future tense, I will. When you see T at the end of a word, opposite of akoti, it is describing something that is ownership and will be done. So the Most High Yah, in that simple word, says, and I will write the ketubah. Those same three letters, the ketubah, upon these sapphires, the words that were in the first sapphires, which you broke. Remember he said, I was your husband, but you broke the covenant. He gave us a ketubah. Sometimes we can say things, and they can be implied. But if you can't show it in the scripture, miss me with that. I got a song to say, don't talk me to death. We speak life over here. Miss me with the death and the garbage if you can't show me in the Torah. The Most High Yah created in you, for you, a ketubah. And he gave it to our ancestors. All right? So in that ketubah, we understand that everything that he requires of us, he going to show up and do it too. He going to give you an example of it. So just as he gave an example of the covenant with us, we have to do it as well. A Ivri union, from now on, I want you to have the understanding. If it don't got a ketubah, it ain't Ivri. If it doesn't have a ketubah, it's not Ivri. The conditions must be plainly stated so that all can see and hold you accountable. Hallelujah. Moving forward. So why does all this matter? What is he saying unto us? What is the creator of the universe saying to us after he spoke this marriage talk, this love language? He's speaking to a bride-to-be. He laying down his game. He putting it on her. He like, hey, look here, man, I got you. I'm going to take care of you. Don't worry about nothing. This is what he's saying unto us. And that's all he's doing. Now, there are greater messages. There are uh, things that are parabolic and symbolism. We all know that all of these, if not most of them, point to Hamashiach, but truly Hamashiach is pointing to who? Yahuwah. 
So, as we move forward, this is what the Most High Yah is saying to us. And we're going to break down quickly each one of these feast days so you can hear the language that he's talking to you in these seasons. Hallelujah. What's that word right there? Pesach. Pay. What's the next word? I mean letter. Samit. Chet. Now we read that. In the 14th day of the first month, at even is Yahuwah's Pesach. And that is Waikra 23 and 5. What is the Most High Yah saying? We know that the pay is symbolic of speaking, the words that come out of a mouth. We no longer just gonna say mouth. What does the mouth do? What is your mouth doing? What is your mouth doing though? What is it speaking? Is it speaking life? Is it speaking the ketubah? Or is it speaking something other than the ketubah? So pay, and then we understand that a samic, I mean, forgive me, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, samic is something that surrounds but supports, protects. In antiquity, they would take all these thorns from the acacia tree and make them a huge circle and put their sheep and their lamb and their livestock in it so they will be guarded. And the hate always is a wall, a fence, divine protection. So he's saying, if you keep the words from my mouth, I will protect you and guard you from all things and anything that can happen to you. Pesach. If you keep the instructions, it's going to pass over you. If you put the blood on there, if you eat it at this time, if you don't do this, if you burn the leftovers, if you share it, if you do every word, I'm going to protect you from everything that's about to happen to everybody else. Pace out. That's all you need to know. It's simple. Move forward. What's this? Matzah. Not Italian. Not matzah. Not like that. Matzah. It's Ivri. <laughs> so, Mim, Zadi, Hey. And when we see that Dagesh, that dot there, it means double that, especially if it's not a particular, a particular consonant. So, in this case, it would be Mim, Zadi, Zadi. And in Ivri, whenever you have two letters that come back to back, it's saying that this is severe. This is very important. It's of the utmost. When the Most High says, Yom, Yom, he's not saying two days, he's saying every day. So when you see a zadi, and the zadi is symbolic of hunting after righteousness. He's hunting after righteousness. So it's saying, not only are you hunting after righteousness, but you're doing it every day to the best of your ability. So mim, we know, is water, blood. Mim, when you think about mim, what does the water and the blood give us? Think of life when you see mim. Water and blood is the, the concrete thing, but these things are associated onto life. If you don't have them, you're dead. So it's the life that hunts after the divine one, the one that we behold, the one that we look at in awe. This is what matzah, this is what that season about. If you're hunting after righteousness, guess what you got to do? Get the sin out. It's simple, y'all. Get the sin out, the leaven, matzah. And on the 15th day of the same month is the feast of matzah unto Yahuwah. Seven days ye must eat matzah to be symbolic of getting the sin out of your life. All right? So he's, what is he saying? He's saying, purify yourself. Turn from your wicked ways and I will make you mine. He talking to you. He sweet talking you. Next. Now. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye are coming to the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priests. And that is Waikra 23 and 10. That word there is Bakar. Bakar. And that is the root word for Yaham Bikurim, the feast of first fruits or wave sheaf. Now, when we look at this, we all know that it is the house, the calf, remember, the palm, and the resh is the head, the starting point, the beginning, as in Rosh Hashanah, or Bereshit, the beginning. So when we look at this, you want to have the understanding that he's saying, listen, don't worry about nothing. If you give me your all, if you give me your best, if you give me your first fruits, I'm going to top whatever you got. So the house... The house that gets their power from the head is a bad house. It's not in our strength. 
We've never fought a battle and won because we was mighty Israel. No. No. It was because of mighty Yahuwah Zabaoth. So the house that has the understanding that your power, everything that is actualized in your life comes from the head, this is what he's saying. I am the all-powerful one. Don't be afraid to serve me with your whole heart. Don't be afraid to give me your all because you think, oh, I got to go to work. Give me your all and watch what I do. Give me your all and your best and watch what I do. That's first fruits. This is how you give the Most High Yah your first fruits, giving him your best. And when you give him your best, you can't out best the Most High Yah. He's your creator. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next one. That was a feast of first fruits. Remember, this is what he's saying. He's been talking to you. He said, do what I say, and I got you. What was the next one? What was the next one for matzah? He said, clean yourself up, and I'm going to make you mine. And this one, um, uh, uh, Bikurim. He said, what did he say? Just give me your best and I'm going to outshine you. Just yield onto me and do it with your best heart and I'm going to make sure I got everything for you. Now, what is this one? Let's read it. Come on. Put it together, Ivrim. Put it together, Ivrim. Let's use the context clues. Shavuot. Ain't that the next feast? Ain't that the next feast? All right, this is the root word. We're making it simple. We're just making it simple. He said, speak it to him simple. This is the root for Shavuot, which is in the root of seven. Sheva. Sheva. And Shavuot means weeks. And Shau means week. Seven. Sheva. All right? And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Shabbat. From the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Shabbats shall be complete. We know that seven is the number what? Completion. Physical completion. The job is done. So what is he saying? In this set of part time, I'm the one who completes you. You can't do it. I'm the one that completes you, baby. Bride to be. I'm the one. It ain't you. Relax yourself. And let me do work. Relax yourself and trust in me. Call me daddy. You see what I'm saying? He's like, call me daddy. Yeah. This is the kind of approach that is simple once you have the understanding. And then you build on the esoteric knowledge. All right? So he's saying, I'm the one who will complete you. I will keep you from harvest to harvest. I'm him. The next one. What is this one? Ru'ah, Ru'ah, as in Yom Teru'ah. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Shabbat, a memorial of blowing the shofars, a holy assembly. Waikra 23 and 24. When we look at this word, Teru'ah, this is the tricontinental root. The Tau is a prefix. The He is a suffix. When you get to the middle of that, that word right there by itself means to break. To send out such a cry that it breaks things. What is it breaking? Your mindset. What is it breaking? Your previous way of living. What is it breaking? Your attitude. What is it breaking? Those things that are stopping you from walking in your purpose with Yahuwah. Ru'ah. So what is he saying in this season? When you break away from your previous way of thinking and cry out to me, there's nothing that I won't do for you, baby. Listen, I know how it was in your daddy's house, but I'm, I'm your daddy now. In righteousness, this is what the creator of the universe is saying. You may have done it this way, but this is my way, and it's the only way. And if you do it, it's nothing I won't do for you. Yom Teruah. That is why we cry out. That is why we cry out. That is why these shofars are blown. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. This mean go. I ain't paying attention. All right. What is this one? Key, key. Kaf, kuh, kuh. 
Keep poor. Somebody hit it over there. Keep poor. Real quick. This is a chirik. Whenever you see this under a consonant, these are all consonants. They're ajabs. All right? This makes the E sound as in igloo. Ki. This is a pay. This is, what is that? Kaboots. Kaboots. And it makes the U sound. Ki poor. As in yom ki poor. Ring. All right? So, we know the kaf, we know the pay, we know the race. What is the most high y'all saying? He's saying, if you do what I require of you and stay underneath this covenant, I will be merciful and will always cover your mistakes. If you do what I ask of you, listen, you're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. I made you. I made you from dirt. You're going to mess up. But if you stay underneath this covering, I'm going to counsel all that. I'm going to keep you. I'm going to be merciful. I'm going to atone for you. That's all you need to know. It's simple. It's simple. And when we read it and look at it, he's telling us right in our face the power to do every word of the head. Hallelujah. All right. And the last one. What's the last one, y'all? Sukkot. What do we have here? Sakar, sa, that's a kamatz. And what's the next one? Patak, sa, kag. That's a kaf sufi. So these are two kafs. So it's like saying S K K. This is the root word for suka. All right, it's sakak. And speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the feast of Sukkot for seven days unto Yahuwah. Remember what I said when you have, now, they look different, but this is just a grammatical rule of the Ivri language at the end, so there's no confusion and you know exactly what it is. There are six letters that have a sufit or end form. It's the same letter. They have the same value, the same meaning, the same sound, the same essence, and they bring forth the same understanding. So it's like saying this one and this one are exactly the same. It's not like saying they are. So you have a samik, a kaf, and a kaf. Remember what I said about two letters being close to each other or the same letter back to back. What does that mean? It's important, but what does it literally mean? If I said yom yom, I'm not saying day day. I'm saying every day. It is severe. It is a high level. Two zadis is like you're not just uh, searching for me. You search for me like your life depend on it. So this is saying your protection, I am all powerful. There is nothing more powerful than me. Anything that can come up against you, I am the one that has all power to deal with it. Suko. Suko, I will make a shelter for you. I'll keep you in the wilderness. I'll cause that shanty town shelter that y'all had to obtain and sustain. I will give you all your provision in this time. So what is he saying doing Suko? There is no limit to my power concerning protecting and providing for you. These are the promises. This is his ketubah. This is the covenant that Yahuwah has with you. Why did I have a moment? We all have moments when this life will take us to a place where we lose track of who Abba Yahuwah is, even if it's brief. Even if it's brief. And when he reminds you who he is, when he tells you it's nothing that I won't do for you. When he tells you just listen to me and I promise I'll take care of you. When he tells you I'm all powerful and nothing can harm you if you stay in this sukkah. It will bring you back to the place to where you have to repent. Where you cry out. Where you humble yourself. He said he keeps promises. Man, I, listen. If them chairs wasn't over there, y'all would have seen some stuff going on. Because he was speaking to me simply and plain, just as he spoke to me when he was giving me this word to give unto his people. Miss Paka, I pray that you have been enlightened. I pray that you have been edified. I pray that there's something was said that will provoke you to go and study for yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Aleluia! 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 Lift up your voices like a trump. Of you who will make covenant with Israel. Hallelujah! 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 To him that was and is and is to come. Hallelujah! We silence and steal the avenger. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now I need for you to make it personal. Hallelujah is always direction away from, but hallelujah is making your adoration unto Allah personal. Lift up your voices. Hallelujah! Say it with your lamb, with your heart. Hallelujah! 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 There shall be a wave, a rhythmic flow that flows from the Ruach when you begin to take all of your energy Take all of the fiber what's within you and begin to give adoration unto the one who is the captain of your soul. That is Ab Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we understand the essence of worship, we don't worship because something has happened. That has never been authentic Yasharel. The authenticity of Yasharel is that we don't just stand idly on standby. Oh, my, my child is, is in some situation, so let me worship Yahuwah. Worship is not just response-oriented. We don't worship because something has happened. We as the Kodashim, we worship to make things happen. Make something happen with your praise unto Yahuwah. Hallelujah! 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 All praises. Hallelujah. Unto the lily of the valley. We thank the Most High for, and I say this in the most humblest way, to Moray Kanayahu. What powerful teaching. I've given out so much out over the years and divested so much that I'm always looking for symbiotic environments that can pour back into me. That word, pour back into me. He that has an ear. Let them hear what the Ruach is saying. Try not to have a Saul Ruach, a Saul spirit. It minimizes your leadership when you can't surround yourself with people who's more competent than you, who's more skilled than you, who's more talented than you. Saul loved David until the people start doing the same. The people said, Saul killed thousands. <laughs> but look at your boy over there. Oh, Dawid from the block. He killed tens of thousands. All of a sudden, the heart posture of Saul began to change. So I think it's important to high capacity leaders to surround themselves with accountability and to raise up people who can pour back into them. I was just reminded, I sent Mori Kanayahu and Mori Kana 
a reminder, you know, every now and then your social media will send you a reminder. It was a little over a year at that time, about a year and a half now, that I flew to Houston and had lunch with them, almost demanded lunch with them, and began to speak the word of Yahuwah concerning that area in their lives. And they didn't see it initially. Well, one didn't. But they didn't need some time to pray. And they did. They got back with me several months later. And all I can say, this is Yahuwah's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Every time I'm around Beit Shema Torah, it's, something happens within my ruach, my sphere of understanding, my comprehension. Because language is not just a tool for communication, it's a vehicle for culture. And if you go to Beit Shema Torah, you're going to see two things. You're going to see the language being emphasized, and you're going to see the culture being emphasized. Hallelujah. Those from Beit Shema Torah under the leadership of Moray Kanayahu, could you stand? We just want to say all praises be to the Most High. Hallelujah. Told out. Mori Zamar, man, such an awesome gift unto the Most High. He said that the Most High may covenant with us. Really quickly, what is the term oath? An oath, when you make an oath, what is the Hebrew word for that? Anyone? Yeah, Shava. 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 In fact, when Abraham went to make a treaty with Abimelech, what did he call that place? He gave seven away lambs, seven, 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 seven away lambs. And what did he call that place? Beer Shava. Some people say Beer Shiva. But Beer Shava. Beer Shava. Shin Vav Hey 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 Shin means to cut off Vav means to join or to connect and Hey means revelation hear the word of Yahuwah when you make a covenant with Yahuwah you cut off that things that oppose Yahuwah. Friends, families, environments, things you used to do because you cannot make a covenant with the one who was and is and is to come. You cannot make a covenant still holding on to the things that diametrically oppose him. You must cut off some things. Shin. Bob, then you must join unto Yahuwah. Join unto him, but you cannot join unto him unless you cut some things off. Hallelujah. And then it's hey, it's for revelation. Revelation. I'm going to cut off some things, join Yahuwah, come and covenant with him, and then he's going to give you revelation. Revelation is made only unto those who are in covenant with him. Hallelujah. Shin, Vav, Hey. It also means what? Seven. 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 Shin, Vav, Hey means to, I'm going to set myself apart to be used for y'all who are only. That's why seven is important. What is the seventh day? Say it again. What is the seventh day? The Shabbat is set apart from all the other days and is exclusively Kodesh unto Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He made covenant with us. Well, in order to make covenant with the Most High, the Most High said, here's the things I want you to do. 
A covenant consists of a number of things, and we're segue, we're gonna segue. What are all of the dynamics and components of a covenant? That's right, you must first have parties. There must be two parties. Come in agreement with someone. What else do you need? A prologue, that's right. A prologue, what is the context of it? What is the context of your covenant? What are the things that led up into you coming into covenant? A prologue, what else? You said parties. Hmm? Boy, we got some highly cerebral given to intellectuality Israelites in this place. All right. So, yes, you are that whenever there's a covenant, you also are going to need there is conditions of the covenant. Stipulations of the covenant. You and I are going to go on covenant. We're going to be betrothed. We're going to be going to a condition. We're going to get married. We're going to. And hey, these are the conditions. You don't cheat on me. I don't cheat on you. You do this. You do that. So it's conditions. Conditions and stipulations in the Torah is what? The commandments. As long as Joshua keep my laws, my statutes, and my covenants, me and you are straight. Me and you will never break up. Me and you, boy, I'm, there's a synergy and dance between you and I that I have loved Yahshua above all the people of the earth. You and I will never break up. As long as you keep my laws, my statutes, and my commandments. That's the stipulations. What else? Because you all on the road now. What? Okay, but, but there are a sign of the covenant. Now, I don't know why I wear this pagan thing all the time, but it is a sign of a covenant I made. I wear my zitzios, my zitzio according to Bidmidbar, chapter 15. I wear them, why? Because it's a sign of the covenant that I made with Yahuwah. Every covenant must have a sign, a sign of the covenant. What was the sign of the covenant with Noah? The rainbow. What was the sign of the covenant with Moses? I hear gibberish now. What is it? The tablets. The tablets. What was the sign of the covenant with Abraham? Circumcision. 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 What was the sign of the covenant with Dawid? The throne. The scepter. That it would never leave Judah and someone would come to sit on his throne. Hallelujah. Those are the signs of the covenant. And Dr. Kirsten said it wonderfully, beautifully. There must, she said, there must be blood. There must be a ceremony. Ceremony to seal the covenant. And ceremonies don't happen privately. They are public so that everyone can hold you accountable to the covenant in which you made. So whenever the Most High made covenant with Yasharel, you will see all of those components. And so part of those components, the Most High said, for three times a year, I want you to come. And when you come, I'm going to give you a bunch of statues and stipulations, but don't come empty-handed. Don't come empty-handed. Hallelujah. According to Devraim, and Sam, if you could put it up there, put it up there. But let's prepare to give unto the Most High. Hallelujah. It was commanded. The only where you, you find in the scripture, there are some things, some narr uh, narratives in the scriptures where the Most High asked the people to give or told the people to give. But he commanded us three times a year to give. So if you want to get technical and you all don't have monetary currency, if you want to give your produce, how many of y'all bought, anybody bought produce to give? Anybody? All right, you got produce, all right. You got it, all right. Praise, all praises be to the most high. But three times a year to give. Now this is called a teruma. A teruma. Teruma means your offerings you give. And the most high said, I want you to give a teruma. We don't do tithes, do we? 
That is for the Kohanim. And that was specific, right, in terms of produce that they bring into the storehouse. But we do give Taruma. Why? According to the scriptures, Taruma, Taruma, would you go to the same? Taruma found in Exodus or Shemot. And it tells us that I want, it's to bring a connection between the presence of the Most High and your giving. What? What? The scriptures bring a connection between your giving and his presence? Absolutely. According to Shemot chapter 25 through 27, notice I want you to know to continue, Sam. He said, I want you to bring me a heave offering. Why? He said, let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell in their midst. Let them give their resources so that we can have all the materials to build a dwelling place so that I can dwell with them and they can dwell with me. Isn't that what Sukkot is all about? Hallelujah. So he said, three times a year, I want you to give. So here's a way in which you can give. You can give Cash App, Great Awake I-N-T, Great Awake I-N-T. I-N-T. Or you can give to through uh, PayPal. And PayPal is the same. Great Awake I-N-T. Great Awake I-N-T. If you're giving through Zelle, that is the email. Great Awakening 400 at gmail.com. All praises be to the Most High. I love Yasharel. We don't have to pump and prime people to give. We just remind them of the instructions that the Most High have given. All right, so even if you want to take your resources and say, well, I'm not so sure about giving. What if somebody don't have the proper, the proper essentials for their sukkah? That's practice not calling it a tent. It is your sukkah. It is your temporary dwelling place. So after the Shabbat, why don't you go out and buy them something? If you notice they need flashlights, if you notice they need some food, if you notice that, take those resources and use it for the kingdom. It's called utilitarianism. Say that with me. Utilitarianism is the act of utility. When you read Torah, it's the act of utility. The act of utility is the greater good for the great amount of people. We see that in Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 4. There was no need amongst them. So let's practice our culture where no need exists among us all needs are met hallelujah hallelujah barak yahuwah barak yahuwah barak yahuwah hallelujah now before we get to this last piece and we uh, release everybody to eat before we get to this last piece which is what people call the lulah and we grow in understanding right I want to immerse myself in cultures and environments that challenge my perception. Perception unchallenged becomes reality. So this walk is lived on levels, but it's, it's experience and stages. We grow, don't we? My understanding concerning the lulav at this point was different than it was last year. Because we immerse ourselves into the scriptures and the scriptures dictate to us we don't dictate to the scriptures. Hallelujah. But before we get to that, if you notice your schedule, how many of you still need to register? You have not registered. Okay. So be patient with Great Awakening. We are really working out some things along the way. Maura Kana and Katrina have done a, and their team have done a wonderful job. All praises be to the Most High for them and all the work they have put into this. But you will notice there are some things that we need to change. We are growing. Um, so we'll soon be in the Fiji Islands. Isn't it awesome? The awakening is happening in Fiji Islands. We have people to reach out to us in the Fiji Islands who is keeping Shabbat and all this and said, we entrust Great Awakening. We want to be a part of Great Awakening and what um, the Most High is doing. So listen, so the Most High is not slack concerning his promises. He keeps his promises that he will awaken Yasharel for the four corners of the earth, and that's exactly what he's doing. Hallelujah. So, um, so with that being said, please pay attention to your programs. So, how many of you do not have one of these? All right, so everybody, make sure you check your book bags. 
pay attention to this because there's some very details you need to pay attention to. So keep in mind, after this setting, this gathering, you will have the entire day to fellowship, to relax, to rest, and the same thing tomorrow except at 10 a.m., Dr. Abigail Parrott, who is, by the way, this is the first time you all are hearing this, she's our new director of our PhD program with the Hebrew Academy International. Could you stand, Dr. Abigail? Hallelujah. <laughs> Tomorrow, she'll be teaching a course, something to do with agronomy, planting, gardening, and all of those things. That will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. here. And she'll be giving away free plants. So what time tomorrow? 10 a.m. right in this room, all right? And then um, you all won't see myself in a number of Maureen for the next couple of days. Um, we have to finish some in-person training with our new Maureen and Morat. Hallelujah. Thirteen of them. Eleven Maureen, two Morat. This is, they are the Hay group. Hay revelation, right? Hay group. So this is the fifth group that we have trained and have commissioned and have, as the scripture says, commended them for public ministry. So if you are one of those Maureen um, or Morat, could you come really come here really quickly? I want them to see your faces. Come really quickly. Come on up here. If you're one of those Maureen or Morat, grab that from Ducey. Yep. Hallelujah. They're still coming. All praises be to the Most High Yah. Answering the call to teach Torah should never be something that is secluded and private. It is public. And so when we present these individuals on Shabbat or Ev Shabbat and consecrate them and install them, that means Great Awakening, we are entrusting them to teach you the Torah. It is a lofty responsibility. It is a heavy and weighty assignment. And we have vetted them and believe they have everything it takes to lead the people in Torah. All praises be to the Most High. So we have from our Milwaukee Assembly, Awake Milwaukee Assembly, Moray Larry Drake. From our Seattle in Portland Worship Hub, we have Moray Dutsi Yatu. From the Detroit Assembly, I'll pray the Detroit in the house. They miss it. Detroit in the house. Y'all embarrassing me up in here. Detroit in the house. What up, doll? That's right. That's the endearing Detroit hello. Right, so we have <laughs> we have woo, oh, we have uh, more Yamaria Yasharel from the Great Awakening Assembly, Jackson. I'm so proud of this young man. We have more Jalen George. From the Charlotte Worship Hub, we have Moray Thomas Starks. From the Great Awakening Assembly Orlando, we have Moray Ramayahu. All the way, we got people from the UK, we have people from Jamaica here. Praise the Most High, we have our liaison our Jacqueline, that's all the way in Zambia. From Suwezi, Zambia, More Jacqueline Gordayahu. She's no stranger to anyone. All praises be to the Most High. 
for our favorite Mora from South Florida. Our director of our missions, world missions team, Mora, Mariah, Yasharal. Hallelujah. And last but not least, all the way from Martinsville. Everybody say Martinsville. Wherever that is, we don't know where it is, but we're just saying it. <laughs> from Martinsville, Virginia, everyone. Our Zake, Yeshayahu, Yasharel. Hallelujah. And we're missing a couple, but continue to keep them in your prayers as um, they have answered the call and ready to teach the oracles of Torah. All praises be to the Most High for them. Hallelujah. All praises be to the Most High. All right, so I need, I need y'all to stay where you are because you're going to do something for a minute. All right. So last thing we need to do, you get to, yep, yep, thank you. So according to the, the scriptures, see if you can go to the Lulav. We call it the Lulav, but there's no real designation to it. So according to the Torah, during the feast days, three feast days, seven Moedims. During the feast days, we are to, or particularly Sukkot, we are to sleep in a, in a sukkah, not a tent, right? We're practicing that. A sukkah, right? Tents are for camping. Sukkahs is a place where you can meet the Most High. It's a difference between the two. So in our sukkahs, and some of y'all got campers, all right? Sukkahs and campers. <laughs> What we're going to, um, it says, I want you to sleep in sukkahs. What else are we to do during this time? Rejoice, right? Rejoice. We went over last night for seven days, and then we get a bonus day. We get an eighth day. Shemini Azarek, right? First and the eighth are what we call a solemn assembly in which we gather. That's why we're gathering. What else are we to do? Say it again. We are to wave certain elements to Most High. So let's read that together, right? Let's read that together. We know the Vav, man, Mori Kano, Yahoo did an excellent teaching on that. Um, go to the next one. So we know we don't call it Atrog anymore, but the Most High said, I want you to do specific things. All right, go to the scripture, Sam. Let's read the scriptures instead of going over some of that. Let's go to the scripture that says, what I want you to do for seven days. If you just go up or down, I'll tell you. Nope. Nope. Go, go, no, go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Nope. Continue. You'll see them. The elements are there. Nope. Nope. It's in, nope. Go up. Yep. There we go. Thank you. Toda. It says on the 15th day of the seventh month, which that's what this is on when we look at a fixed calendar. By the way, do you not know that the word moad means fix? Did you know that? Look it up. Moad means fix. It's fix, which means it doesn't rotate. It fix, which means Easter, for those in our former lives, we observe Easter. Easter this year was what month? It was in April, right? Some latter April? March this year? Okay. Next year, go look at it on a calendar. It's going to be deep into April. Wait a minute. Isn't a year 364 days? Right? But the Most High said, I want you to meet three times a year. Based on a rotating calendric system, sometimes you may meet 340 days in between the same feast day. That's not 352. Or it may go over 383 days in between one Passover and the next Passover. Is that, is that solid? That means we have to question the integrity of the Most High. And the Most High integrity should not be questioned. The Moed means it's fixed. It's fixed. And based on what we call the tukufa, the changing of the seasons, the changes of the seasons. And I understand 
Great Awakening, we do, for years, we followed the moon. We did, right? For years, right? Full moon, new moon, we did follow the moon. Um, and for those, there are people here who still do that. We all are caught. We all are learning. It's our current understanding. And when Yahuwah, hallelujah, when he returns, he's going to bring all this into focus. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, just celebrate the feast. Hallelujah. All praises be to the Most High. So on the 15th day, when you have gathered in produce of the land, you shall celebrate the feast for how many days? All right. And so the first day should be a solemn rest. Solemn rest. Man, it's awesome. Only few days are called a Shabbat. We know the weekly Shabbat is called a Shabbat. Anybody know what else day or moed is called a Shabbat? People are nodding their head, but Yom Kippurim, Yom Kippur is called a Shabbat. Now, it may be something to that, but anyways, it should be a solemn rest for you. And people say, well, Shabbat means to rest. What's the deeper implications of that, right? You shall rest, and then on the eighth day, you should do what? Do it again. You shall party again. That's right, Amma. And you shall take on the first day a fruit of splendid trees, not a truck. For years, Great Awakening, and we always apologize if we come into a newer understanding, but we always had the atrog, right? Smell real good. I'm not for sure if you had a picture up there, but it smelled, it looked like a lemon, and we were passing around, me, people smell it, and an atrog, and, and it, it smells good. And that's what our Ashkenazi um, rivalries, that's what they use, right? And we will say, but where, do, where is that in the scriptures? Hello, where is the Atrog in scriptures? See, we're reading the scriptures through the lens of our oppressors. We have to begin to dig deep into the scriptures to use investigatory methods to ask questions. So it just says fruit of splendid trees, right? Or some people say the goodly bows. Well, here's what it is. We believe it is. We shared this last night. Where do we have some? Where Yolanda? We, we need the goodly bows. Can you, can you tell her to give me that? Last night, there we go. Praise God. We got to make sure y'all get one of these in y'all hand. Anybody know what this is? A what? A what? A olive. So when you really search the scriptures, you will find it's not a citrus fruit, although it smells good. But it is the olive. Come a little closer. Don't tell nobody. Shh. Don't tell nobody. You are more, you practice more Judaism than you practice the scriptures. We'll wave these here because this was the source for many of our daily living and it smells delectable how many things can you make out of this olive some of y'all fry in it which you probably shouldn't be doing but that's a whole different conversation but this is the splendid the splendid fruit from the splendid tree the olive is the source for that which is a splendid tree then i want you to take the palm branches the palm branches you see the palm branch let me see a palm some of y'all don't have all the elements all right this is the palm branch palms are significant when a king for a king right coronation of the king when solomon was being coronated as a king Malek Dawid ordered that they will come and put him on an ass, put him on a donkey, and they began with palm brushes. Long live Malek. Long live the king. Long live the king. Fast forward to the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament. What happens? 
Yahusha is riding into Yerushalayim, and they set him on a donkey. And they begin to wave the branches, and what did they say? Blessed, O Barakdi, who come in the name of Yahuwah. So it's always to note that. And also your spine. There's a lot of, you know, when our human anatomy, our pheno, phenotypically, it's all related, right? It means we bend, but we don't break. We bend, but we don't break. So that's deep, deep, significant. So the Most High made a wonderful suggestion. He said, I, I suggest to you, if you feel like it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. I'm going to suggest to you that you take the fruit of the splendid trees and take the branch of a palm tree and wave it if you, if you feel like it. Then throw your hands in the air and wave it if you really do care. But if you don't care, don't wave it. What a wonderful suggestion, isn't it? It's not a suggestion. It's a what? It's a commandment according to the scriptures. We are to take these. And then I want you to take the boughs of the leafy trees. What did that denote? The myrtle. We are to take the myrtle and we are to do? Wave the myrtle. Right? So we have the myrtle. Did you see the myrtle? All right. I think this is more going to come from the, the glitch tree. Yeah, they picked it out. Okay. All right, we should have that. All right, we'll, we'll have it. All right, for the next one. Because we're going to do this daily. So we are to take the myrtle and we are to take the willow. Take those four elements, which is deeply significant. And you really won't understand its real revelatory significance until we get into the kingdom. Because nothing is by accident. The Most High won't have us to wave these four elements just because he said, ah... I want you all to practice hoodoo. I want you to just take elements and just wave them and something spiritual is going to happen. It's a trilogy. It's not what was, but what is to come. Hallelujah. So the Most High said, I want you to do this. And what do he want us to do with these four elements? You shall do what? You shall do what? You shall rejoice. So before we release you for lunch, I need everybody to stand. Because for seven days, we are to party. We are to rejoice. That means we are to have vigor and vivaciousness. And that means you got to throw your hands in the air, move your feet. That's one. Or whatever your expressions of dance might be. But the Most High said, I want you to rejoice. Hallelujah. Let me see you practice it. I want you to rejoice. No, 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 no. Christianity told us, taught us, they have released the cultural aspect and told us, well, you rejoice with your mouth. But when you rejoice before Yahuwah, you rejoice with all of your being, with your mouth, with your hands with your everything that's within you should bless him let's try this again let's rejoice rejoice now here's what we're going to do we're going to be led by the band and Yoshi Yahu. You're going to start us off. You all, as the Maureen and more rock come around, you're going to get behind them and you're just going to dance before Yahuwah as we wave the elements and rejoice.
is the hay group. Hallelujah. Say hey, 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 hey. Say hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Say ha, ha, ha. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say ha, 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say ha! Say ha! Say ha! Hallelujah! Say ha! Say ha! Say ha! Hallelujah! Seven heads. Ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Woo. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Lift your voice. Lift him and dance. Lift him with the trumpet. Lift him on the strings. Lift him with everything. Hallelujah. Ha, ha. Hallelujah. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. 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 Yahoo are higher. Come on, y'all. Lift him higher. Hey! Lift him higher. Hey! Lift Yahoo are higher. Hey, everybody. Say hey! Ha! 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say ha! Hallelujah. Upon this day, we seven ourselves. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. That's seven hearts. Hallelujah. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say ha, 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 ha. Hallelujah. Ha-hoo-ha. Say ha. Ha, 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 hallelujah, Yahuwah. Say ha, 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 hallelujah, Yahuwah. Say 
Ha, 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 hallelujah.
Exalted in honor and majesty. Listen to this. Extol Yahuwah. Extol him in the highest. Extol Yahuwah. Extol him in the highest. How about this? Esteem Yahuwah. Esteem him in the highest. Esteem Yahuwah. Esteem him in the highest. Exalt Yahuwah. Exalt him in the highest. Exalt Yahuwah. Exalt him in the highest. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yahushua said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me so that we can exalt our Yahuwah and give him glory and honor and majesty. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Esteem, Yahuwah. Esteem him in the highest. Esteem, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jerusalem, I call me. Kilo no lo sé. Uh, I'm ben ami. Zoom ang ishila na. Dawoyami, ay kola na. Buso ami, aw kola na. Kilo no lo sé. I'm 
I'm not rich as hell. I'm the one that really needs the break. Not the people that are already rich and have the money. Kamala Harris is gonna make billionaires pay their fair share. And she's gonna cut taxes for working people. We need Kamala Harris. Get it in, hey, check it out, hey. To the right. So there are two lines, the vegans over here and the meat eaters over here, all right? All right, you can start lining up before they um, sound the horns for um, lunch being served. It's in A, check it out, A, it's going down, A, mash it up, A, mash it up, mash it up, mash it up. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You are now flying. Where my captain at? Southwest. Uh. Wake up, moon outside, it's a party. Hop up, dedication, it's a party. The K nut destruction, it's a party. Two live, two lit, move with the body. Bible with the pins in a black bag. Dance, 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 real fast. Zonovan book, yeah, I got that. Hold up, that's an Israelite starter pack. Pass over, dance with a snapping hand. Peace day show for a contraband. Dancing like I'm trying to see the homeland. Pentecost first fruits to the big man. Nobody party like an Israelite. Have a seat. If you are under 60, please get out of line. Hallelujah. Six, zero.